Hey everybody, it's Allie from Allie's Losing It Again. I am here with my five week update. Um, that's wild. It felt like surgery took forever to actually get here. And now surgery feels, I don't know, part of it may feels like it's a lifetime ago. And then sometimes I'm like, time is passing so quickly. <laughs> it feels like it was just yesterday. So it's a weird mixture of emotions. Um, to kind of start off with my stats, um, I always forget to say how tall I am. I am 5'7". So I started this with my highest weight at 328. Um, my surgery day, I was 312. And today I am officially 285. Um, from yesterday until today, I lost two pounds. So, um, as I mentioned in previous videos, week three and week four, um, at least that I've seen and witnessed from other YouTubers and other, um, Facebook groups, um, week three and week four are pretty slow on losing because I guess your body just has this shock and it's trying to get used to everything. Um, so week three and week four are typically a little bit less of um, weight loss weeks. And I experienced that. I want to say I lost maybe, I don't know, four to five pounds. Um, I mean, I was still lost, but it was not anywhere where it was before. Um, and part of me thinks that just yesterday um and then going into week five that i um must be over kind of that hump um because i mean two pounds in one day i did go out um with my friend and my goddaughter um sorry my nose is like itching i think it's springs here and it's well near here <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come back winter um but yeah, so we went out. So I did a little bit more um, activity. Um, I, you know, was able to get out of my apartment besides work. Um, so I think that kind of helped. Um, we didn't go out for too long. So it wasn't like I did like a ton of walking or anything. Um, you know, I feel like I would probably do more walking, you know, during the week when I'm at work and walking the bridge. So, um, you know, even though I went out yesterday, um, I don't think it was that different compared to what I usually do during the week. So, I mean, to be honest, a two pound loss is, I feel like huge. Um, and I feel like that's actually showing that things are happening. It's, it's getting back to, you know, that big weight loss that, you know, um, people experience at the beginning, um, right after surgery. So, um, I'm excited. I think, as I go more down, like I keep getting more excited, um, which I mean, obviously uh, anybody would, but um, I think I'm starting to feel more of a difference, like um, in the shorts that I currently have on, uh, you probably can't see them, but these shorts um, I've been wearing for, I mean, ever since I've gotten them and they are usually like really tight on me. Um, and then I took my dog out to go potty this morning and, um, I had to keep pulling them up because they're getting loose. Um, usually I'm, you know, somebody that doesn't need the, the drawstrings on them and <laughs> I, uh, will probably have to start using the drawstrings. So, um, that's wild to me, you know, um, I can't believe it. You know, there's a pair of jeans that I've been wearing lately um, that I got a long time ago. Um, and they've, you know, for the past year or so, they've been way too tight. Like they cut into my stomach, they cut into, sorry, my dog dude just came in. Um, yeah, but they cut into my stomach, they cut into my legs, it just rolls on rolls. And lately they've just been looking real good. The butt's been looking real good in them, you know, like the legs are not too bad. So I'm just like, okay, and they're comfortable. Like I can sit down um, and not feel like my stomach's getting like cut in half. So 
um, that's been really nice. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into um, other clothes that I have in my second closet here. Um, I live in a two bedroom, that's why I have a second closet. Um, because the second closet that I have is all clothes that are like a size or more uh, lower than what I was and probably still currently am. So I think that it's kind of like shocking me because I'm like, oh, I'm going to be able to wear those before I know it. And, you know, when my goddaughter came over last night to, um, she was playing in my second room here and hi baby. Oh, he's got really weird burps. Um, she was playing in the clothes that I have in the second closet. She likes to dress up and everything. And they're pretty cute because, you know, the shirts on her are like dresses. Um, but yeah, so I was like, oh, I forgot I had that. Oh, I could probably wear that soon. And it just kind of made me excited to see her in them because I'm like, oh, I could wear that again soon, you know? So it's wild. Um, to kind of see those and be like, oh, I'm going to be able to go into that closet soon and wear those things. Um, there's a purple blazer that I got forever ago. And I, even back when I um, first bought it, I found out that I didn't fit into it. Um, it was too small. And um, instead of returning it, I was like, oh, I'm going to get in it. Never got into it. Um, but now I will. So I'm kind of looking forward to that because I love a blazer with anything, like even just jeans and a shirt or something. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's wild to kind of, I guess like the two pound difference, just seeing that this morning really kind of gave me that extra like, yeah, this is happening. This is here, you know. Um, I'm really proud of myself yesterday. Um, I mean, even though you have weight loss surgery and you have, you know, these restrictions and stuff like that, it's still hard to say no to certain things, especially that you've been wanting or thinking about. Um, you know, we got my goddaughter uh, McDonald's for, for um, dinner. Um, you know, my friend was able to get, you know, a burrito from Taco Bell. And uh, for lunch, um, I just made something I had here. And then um, when we went through Taco Bell, I got like a side of sour cream um, and like nacho sauce, which I mean, is not the healthiest, but I didn't eat a lot of it. Um, and I just made up some refried beans here and just ate that for dinner. And it's like, yeah, I, I, the fries smelled good. Um, I'd kill for, you know, a chicken burrito with cheese and avocado ranch and just, you know, in a tortilla wrap. Um, you know, I know I probably couldn't eat it or even if I tried, it would be like a couple bites and that'd be it. Um, but yeah, like I'm still proud of myself being able to say no. Um, and just kind of being satisfied, you know, after I ate the stuff that I had here um, throughout the day, I still felt satisfied, you know, I felt good, you know, um, so that was, I don't know, that's, I feel like a big success for me too, because I'm like, I think it's solidified that I can be around people and they can eat their thing and I can eat mine and I still feel good, you know, because when I'm hanging out with people, it needs to stop being so much about food and more about spending time with my loved ones, you know, getting to hang out with my goddaughter, getting to hang out with my best friend, um, talking with them, you know, just experiencing what we really have to experience in life instead of food. Um, yeah, so that was just a really good day. Um, yesterday, I was like three grams shy of my protein intake <laughs> uh, goal. And, um, I think I was maybe three ounces shy of my water intake, but I was so tired. I was like, I'm not hungry. I'm not going to eat anything else. And I drank all the water that I could. And I was like, you know what? I did my best. I got everything in. So yeah. Um, I have been this past week really into, um, 
the Walmart version of Crystal White. Um, I really like the pomegranate lemonade. Um, that's my favorite. And it has like a little bit of like, it says like pomegranate lemonade energy, but caffeine. So um, I've been into that this week. So I think that's kind of helped me kick up my water intake. I don't hate water. Um, I love water actually, but just like when you're trying to focus on getting a water intake in and um, you know, sometimes I'm so thirsty and that's not hard to drink water, but then other times I'm like, okay, I just need to get this water in. Um, having that just kind of like boosts it. Um, I'm not allowed to drink a ton of coffee anymore. So um, just having just a little bit of um, energy throughout the day um, through that also helped. Um, I think it helped move things through <laughs> a little bit too, uh, cause I've been able to go on my own, um, several times this week. So that's been nice. Um, now <laughs> I am going to go into this past week because this has been such a freaking stressful week. Mm, no. So you might see a mess behind me. I don't know exactly what you can see, but that's part of it. <laughs> um, so at the beginning of the week, I had a lot of appointments scheduled um, with a dietitian, my nurse practitioner, an eye doctor appointment, a lot of things scheduled on top of, you know, going to work and everything else I have to do. Um, Monday wasn't too bad. Tuesday, or I shouldn't say Monday during the day was not too bad. Monday night I came home to my dog completely sick. Um, he was, he was sick. Um, I'll spare you the details. Um, sick enough to where I slept on the couch and, you know, had to put a towel down for him so that he could sleep on the towel instead of making a mess everywhere. Would not eat, would not drink was like licking and biting the carpet, which he never does, which is really weird. Um, licking and biting, trying to chew up grass outside. So obviously something with his tummy. Um, we got through Monday night and it was rough because I barely got any sleep. I don't think he slept at all. Uh, and then every time he would move, which was quite frequent, I would wake up. Um, so, Tuesday morning, I had to cancel my eye doctor appointment and try to get him into the vet. Ended up not being able to get him into the vet until the afternoon, which messed up my work schedule. And when I took him into the vet, I had a several hundred dollar vet bill. Um, I love my vet, um, but there was a lot that needed to happen for my dog. Um, side note, I did recently uh, change him to a, um, I always forget the term, oh my gosh, a grain-free uh, dog food because I've been told a lot that grain-free is supposed to be really good for dogs. Found out with the vet that it actually is probably really bad for them, uh, causes a lot of heart failure and heart disease. Um, so if anybody's on grain-free, talk to your vet. Um, so of course I was like, <laughs> we're putting a stop to that immediately. Um, which I'm sure is also another reason why he wasn't feeling great. Um, but in general, he just always has had stomach issues ever since I've gotten him. So um, at the vet, he had to have like three injections. Two of them were like fluids, which were really funny looking. If you've never seen a dog have fluid, um, get fluid injections, it's actually quite funny um, after they get it. I didn't like hearing him cry and whimper in the other room and made, made me really sad. Um, he had to go on like antibiotics and um, this anti-diarrheal medicine and just, it was stressful. Um, you know, and it turns out like before I even took him to the vet, he had several accidents all over my bedroom floor. Um, so part of the reason why I needed the anti-diarrheal and yeah, so that was stressful. So um, usually I keep him in my bedroom whenever I'm gone. Um, so he's very used to that. He, you know, that's his place to stay while I'm gone. 
but because of the big mess and everything, um, I decided to keep him in my second bedroom and I did not unfortunately have time to clean up the mess that he made in the bedroom because uh, I had to get back to work. So when I came home that night, he apparently locked himself in the second bedroom, which if you know Hobo, that's not surprising. If you don't, he has a way of getting into things or getting out of things that is insane. Um, his middle name, I've decided, is Houdini. So that should tell you anything. <laughs> so he locked himself in my second bedroom. Took me forever to open up this freaking door. And, and when I opened up the door, he had destroyed the carpet near the door. Like, even like the foam that's underneath the carpet, he had gotten some of that up. And probably like there's a huge section that's just like, it was, you know, folded over. I just, I fell to the ground devastated because I'm like, what else? What else can happen? What did I do? What did I do to somebody, something, the universe? I don't know for, for this. So um, I folded the carpet back over so it didn't look as bad um currently i have you know a towel over it um my aunt brought me over a carpet um last night because i'm like i'm gonna hold off on towing my apartment complex for now just because i'm like i can't pay for it right now i'm sure they're gonna be like mad at hobo and I just don't have the energy for it right now so yeah so um hobo is going back on his anxiety meds <laughs> um he's been off of them for about a month and um decided he's gonna go back on them he needs them um there's been a couple of other things that I've noticed even just this week um that really shows that he does need them um, besides the stuff that I've said. Um, other than that, he's feeling great again. He has some expensive ass food that I got him um, to kind of heal his tummy um, while I look for some other, hopefully more normal priced food um, that will just kind of help with his sensitive stomach. Um, I So that was pretty much about my dog. Um, work has been testing me. Um, I have been trying to be set up for work at home, as many of you know. And there's been a lot of stressful stuff just this past week, especially just because I think the IT guy at my office is stressed out and he takes that out and vents a lot to, he, he vented a lot to me, which um, I very much consider myself an empath, so I kind of absorbed um, I try not to, but it's really difficult not to, um, especially when somebody is like constantly around you. Um, I received some stuff in the mail and then some stuff I picked up in the office for my uh, work at home stuff. I finally got um, my internet connection set up on Friday morning. The guy that came to do the internet was complaining about my apartments, complaining about the setup, complaining about this, complaining about that. He kept saying like, shit, 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 like all the time and like huffing and puffing. And I'm like, dude, you are like in your fifties. Like, even if the job is complicated, like that's not appropriate, you know? Like, and he was in my own home putting that energy out there. And like, I take the energy of my home very seriously. So it's just like, it stressed me out so bad that morning. And then he was there maybe less than, he was here like maybe less than an hour. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad. He just had to drill a hole and connect a few things. Like it wasn't even that bad. Like he was making it out to be so terrible. So 
that was just, it was stressful. You know, I'm not somebody to usually complain about, you know, people and their job and everything, but just that was, I don't know. I don't know if I should call and tell the company about my experience because it just was, it was really bad. It was really negative. Um, so finally the connection got set up, opened up all my stuff, which again, I'm not sure how much you can see. It's everywhere right now. Find out that I don't have the phone. And for those that don't know, technically I work at a call center. <laughs> the phone is so important, not just because like I'll need to make calls or accept calls, but it like working at home, it runs the connection through everything. Like my whole system runs through the phone. So found out that I don't have a key component to working at home. So I had to go into the office on Friday, sit in a completely new area and just, it was all messed up. So I don't know when I'll get the new phone. I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything yet. I'll probably ask my supervisor tomorrow about it, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be going into the office at least Monday and probably Tuesday. Um, I just hope it comes in soon because with Hobo being the way he is and just everything else, like my stomach goes back and forth, um, especially, you know, trying new things and I'm starting phase four of my diet um, tomorrow. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm just, done I'm done um to kind of go over um more of my actual surgery stuff um just a side note um about the seroma I talked to the nurse practitioner about it she kind of felt around my stomach um and she even swabbed you know inside my belly button and stuff and um she said that she didn't feel any like pockets of fluid or anything like that. Um, it is draining um, or, you know, causing some stuff to come out or whatever. Uh, excuse me. Uh, but she says that, you know, as you lose weight, your stomach kind of goes in, creates a deeper belly button. I've always had a deep one, um, but it hasn't caused this issue. Um, but she said that can also happen under underneath your stomach too as you lose weight um so it's just important to really keep it dry keep it you know um uh clean all that um but she said that it doesn't seem like it's a serum or anything because she was like oh well we may have to have you doing an ultrasound and everything um but she she didn't see any need to so that was good um now she did say that you know it should go away on its own it should be good you know as you lose weight but depending on how I lose weight and how my body is after, um, after I like lose the weight that I need to, um, if there's like a lot of access and it keeps doing it, that may cause um, the need for skin removal surgery. Um, so that just might be a possibility. It just kind of depends on how my body reacts as I lose weight um, and when I get towards my goal weight. So um, I am really glad that it's not an actual like pocket of like fluid and everything because I read that they would have to do all sorts of things and I don't want to go through that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just hoping this week goes a lot more smoothly. Um, I have like two appointments this week. Um, I had to reschedule my eye doctor appointment, so I have that. Um, and then Thursday, I believe, I have my um, therapy appointment. So um, then you know, work, hopefully, hopefully this week I'll get to start working at home, who knows, um, but other than that, like, I'm just hoping to kind of take things, you know, slowly, calmly as possible, um, you know, I'm just hoping things go a lot more smoothly this week, I'm hoping that was just, like, we're gonna just throw this at you, see how you take it, and go from there, um, so I'm hoping I proved that I could get through it, and, and that's about it, so, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of drained still, but 
today is beautiful so I'm going to work on cleaning up my place um you know finally do laundry <laughs> maybe go for a walk I don't know and maybe get some new stuff um that I'm finally able to eat now on phase four so I'm excited for that all right um yeah so that's we're going into week five week five that's crazy and it's getting like nicer out so I'm just feeling even more motivated and more excited for everything so I can't wait um this week I am going to come back on probably Wednesday or Thursday with another video um haven't fully decided on the days for those yet it probably just depends on my schedule and everything um, but you can expect um, at least two videos a week. I have been doing lunch chats, so I'll probably do like little chats throughout the week too, um, just depending on how things are. Um, if anybody has any suggestions for like my Wednesday or Thursday videos, um, and like, I don't know, I, I did my food history last week, my food relationships. Um, so that was kind of cool to kind of like get that off my chest and be more open about that. So, um, if anybody has any suggestions or comments for other videos, I am more than happy to share. Um, you know, if you're questioning about, um, the decision to have weight loss surgery or the difference between the surgeries or anything like that, please feel free to comment. Um, I'm really excited to continue on this path with this channel. Um, it's growing and, you know, I'm so excited to see everybody that's coming here and, having their surgery soon. Like, it's awesome. I'm so excited for everybody. All right. Um, again, shameless, you know, not plug, but just like, share, subscribe, you know, do all that stuff. Uh, and I will see you guys probably Wednesday or Thursday or sooner. Who knows? But I love you guys and I hope you have a great week. Bye.